Welcome to the VBA course that's going to take you from beginner to expert. And there's even going to be quite a bit in there for those of you with an intermediate level of VBA knowledge. Now here we have the final project that we actually work on in the course, but let's take a look at the course itself. And here we have over 200 video tutorials. And each one of them comes with their own downloadable Excel reference file. So click one of these tutorials. And what you're going to see is a video where I walk you through all of the coding. I show you how to code it. I tell you what's going on, why we're doing it this way. And before you even begin the tutorials, you can go just below the video and download the Excel reference file. And here is one of those files. And the beautiful thing about this is that everything that I cover in the tutorial is also in the downloadable Excel reference file. So everything in the worksheet, but also everything in the code. And more than just the VBA are the comments. Every single file is heavily commented so that you know exactly what is going on. So you can open this file in six months or a year and figure out exactly what's up. And below all of the comments is, we have a note section in this particular file. And down here we have the actual code. There are no empty lines of code. Everything has comments. I explain everything. Maybe the most important part of this course is going to be the reference files themselves. And you are going to want to download all of them and organize them on your computer so that you can very easily locate them and either open them up to relearn something or jumpstart your future projects. With these reference files, you're going to be able to copy all the code and paste them into your project so that you never start a project at zero. And that's going to save you hours of time. But now let me tell you how the course is structured because there are four main sections to this course. There are core sections, assignments, practical sections, and projects. And the core sections of the course, like this one right here, are going to give you the basics of VBA. And then every single core section, all 14 of them, are going to be paired with an assignment. And every one of these assignments is going to take what you learn in the core section above it and put it to practical use. And every assignment has one tutorial for the task where I tell you what you should do and one tutorial where I show you how I completed all of those tasks. And here is a sample of one of those assignments for the logic section with all of the tasks. So what I do in the task video is I go over all the tasks and I make sure that you know exactly what you need to do. And then in the next video for the assignment, down here below where it says work here, I complete all of the tasks and show you how and why I'm doing it a certain way. And all of the assignments are connected so that by the end of it, you end up building a fully functioning billing and invoice system. Now, the third main pillar of the course are the practical task sections, where I show you how to do everything from working with pivot tables to five different ways to import, to how to export a pivot table, export a PDF, export text CSV files, send emails, search through entire workbooks, select multiple files at once, do so many different things. There are over 40 practical task tutorials. And the best part about these, and this is going to be really great for those of you who already have an intermediate level of VBA, is the downloadable Excel reference files. Here is the export as PDF downloadable Excel reference file. And at the very top, once again, I explain how everything works in a lot of detail here at the top of the module. But here we also have many, many, many macros that do very specific things, and we can very quickly navigate to them. So what do you want to export? A PDF range, multiple worksheets, a workbook, a single worksheet, multiple ranges in a worksheet? Or how about we go for export PDF with print options? You make the selection, go down to the code, copy it, paste it into your project, 
and you did in 15 seconds what might have taken you more than 15 minutes. So the practical tasks, the files for those, are going to be more like guides, where I show you how to do everything. It's still heavily commented to explain all of it so you know exactly what's going on, but the code is specifically made to be copy-pasted into your project to jumpstart them, and that's really going to save you a lot of time. And in the bonus section of the course, I show you how to make a dynamic user forms that are going to allow you to control the input into your worksheet in a very professional and powerful way. And let's not forget about the last section of the course, the projects. The course has three projects. The first one is the billing and invoice system that you make piece by piece throughout the 14 assignments. And then there are two more self-contained projects. And here we have the task manager, a nice visual way to manage your inputs with shapes and pop-ups and a dynamic interface. And confirmations to make sure we don't overwrite any important data. And a big focus of this course is being able to combine a nice intuitive user interface on the front end with your programming skills in the back end. And the data analysis project, where we import the data, slice and dice it, make custom reports, and email it to a list of people. And it's all done in a nice professional visual way. Now, these self-contained projects are so special because I don't just show you how to make what you see here. I show you how to go from business requirements, someone telling you in a couple sentences what they want done, and taking that all the way through to a completed project. We go from business requirements to planning in Microsoft Word to designing the interface here in the worksheet so that it will actually work with those requirements and your code requirements. Then we go into the code window and design the actual macros before we do any coding. So we know, hey, I got to do this and this and this. How am I going to structure it? I show you how to manage that process. And then I show you how to code the entire project. And this last project is going to be great for those of you who already know VBA, because what I show you here is not just how to program VBA. I show you in this project how to take all of the skills that you learned in the entire course and to shape it to make systems that work well for medium to large sized projects. And here in the code window, we can take a look at the final project over here, and you can see all of the modules that we're going to build. For error handling, I don't just show you how to handle the errors in a macro. You've already learned that by this point. Here, I show you a system for handling all of the errors in a large project in an efficient and easy to manage way. How about security? By this point in the course, you know how to lock your project, you know how to add password protection, you know how to do all of that. But here I show you how to make a protected access container, a system that's going to allow you to very easily protect whatever actions you want to protect in the worksheet. You have sensitive worksheets that should require a password to view. I show you how to add that and then manage it with all of the other protected actions that you want here in your project. So we have a system for that. Validation, a system for validating data in a nice, easy, efficient, and easy to update way. How about documentation? Four great ways to document your code so that when you open it up in six months or a year from now, you know exactly what's happening and why it's happening. This course is really going to take you all the way from beginner to expert, and it covers a lot of ground over 200 tutorials, over 200 separate downloadable Excel files. You're going to learn a lot of VBA in this course. And my goal is that after you take this course, you feel comfortable and confident making VBA projects in Excel.